important to create a road show which goes across eight cities in the country to just showcase what all is happening in India, what is the technology in action that we can focus on, and, and where does all of this really mean for, for each of us as organizations that are building this technology-enabled future. So we, it's an eight-city road show that we are doing. We started in Hyderabad yesterday, Today is the, which was an enormous success. Uh, today is the second edition that we are running, second phase that we are running in Chennai. And tomorrow we pass the bait into Trivandrum, and then this travels across to Calcutta, and Indore, and Bangalore, and Mumbai, Pune. So uh, I think the idea is to take the message of technology through the length and breadth of the country. We had uh, six cities last year. This year, we are already at eight cities. And uh, I, I think the team may not like it, but maybe next year we'll do 10, 12, whatever is logically possible for, for us to really do that. I, I, th I thought I'll use this welcome note to talk to you a little bit about what are NASCOM's priorities as we think about technology. We are a technology association, so everything we do is about technology. Uh, but, but I think we've also seen that the whole emerging technology is led particularly by artificial intelligence has really redefined how we are thinking about what this tech-led future should be. Uh, clearly, any conversation we get into since the launch of ChatGPT and despite the ongoing saga, it has, it has created a much more democratized technology than, than what we saw. People refer to this as the electricity moment or the internet moment. And I know we have uh, the speaker from Unifor who will talk to you about enterprise AI and, and what's happening there. But clearly, there is a lot of uh, excitement uh, that, that is around what is happening in the AI world. And similarly, there are concerns. So what, what does it mean from a cybersecurity perspective? What happens to data? So, so I think we are living in this very um, exciting opportunities where there is the potential to do a lot with technologies high. But like unlike when internet started, the risks are even higher, right? So how do you balance opportunity and risk? And I think that is really one of the focus areas for NASCOM. So clearly the, the three priorities we've outlined for ourselves, one is really the focus on this tech-led transformation, tech-led transformation for our member companies that are building global solutions, tech-led transformation for uh, startups that have already built out very innovative solutions, tech-led uh, transformation for Indian enterprises and SMBs and how can they uh, you know, enhance their productivity, efficiency, make life easier for, uh, for their customers or citizens of India, tech-led transformation for the government. I think the government has done a very uh, humongous job with the whole digital public infrastructure initiative led by Aadhaar, where it's so easy to uh, get access to a lot of citizen services and redefine what inclusion really means. But we believe uh, emerging technologies can provide the next level of transformation for digital solutions. The second focus for us is really around talent, and we have the future skills team here. Uh, but really, how can we think about uh, enabling talent, which is at a technology lens, the people who will build all these emerging technology solutions, the people who will use these emerging technology solutions in their day-to-day -day activity. And of course, just like we did digital literacy in this country, can we think about AI or tech literacy that is broader than just uh, what, what was done from, from the past? I think the third and the most important imperative is around trust. Uh, we need to make sure that you know, solutions that are getting built in India are have the right level of trust as a design principle. It should not be an afterthought. It has to be something that has been thought through from the very beginning. Um, so, you know, we published the guidelines for generative AI that a lot of companies uh, came together to help us put together. We're working with the government on uh, different regulatory uh, approaches to AI and what should India's approach be. Uh, we're doing a lot of adoption sessions to help startups and others think about how should they uh, adopt and build uh, AI or other emerging technology as a design principle. We have the Data Security Council of India that is solely focused on cybersecurity and making sure that all of us can remain safe and, 
And of course, India remains as a trusted, safe, secure destination. So with these objectives uh, at NASDAQ today, you're going to have a very, very exciting agenda. We've got, like I said, the tech in action. You're going to hear from uh, on Enterprise AI from Unifor. We've got the e-plane company, which is going to show you live demos of their products. And both of these, interestingly, are IIT Madras incubated companies. So it's it's a real pleasure to, to have them here. We have sectoral sessions on how do you think about about Industry 4.0, what's happening in healthcare, what's happening in digital transformation at a broader level. We are looking at how does the whole human machine interface take place from an augmented workforce perspective. And of course, we have some celebrity sessions with a very uh, eminent speaker uh, who's a, a table tennis star. Lastly, we're also going to recognize a few uh, organizations that are making a tremendous contribution on digital skilling, and of course, members that have been long-standing partners with NASCOM. So it's an action-packed day. I'd request all of you to use this time to, to share and learn from all our speakers, visit the stalls outside, interact, network with each other, and please do give us your feedback. Your feedback would be very, very important to us as we shape our agenda for 2024, which promises to be a very uncertain and cloudy year. So thank you all for being here. Thank you so much for filling the welcome note with so many ideas, thoughts, and perspectives, ma'am.